Now after this, talking about vegetative propagation. Now the somatic parts of a plant body after detaching they produce a new individual. Somatic parts, yes, somatic parts like stem, root, leaves, when they are detached from the parent body, yes, after detaching from the parent body, the plant shows a uh, plant forms a new individual. Yes, by the method of vegetative propagation. So Somatic parts of parent body after when they are detached, they form a new individual. And this by the method of vegetative propagation. Now, if we talk about birds, one thing is very interesting to understand here, how a plant can produce a new individual after detaching from himself. Yes, any part which is detached from himself and after this, he, sorry, it shows the it shows the formation of new individual, new dot body. So, let's say this is stem and this node that is present of leaf. If we talk about birds, as birds, they are birds are also known as immature shoot. Immature shoot. These are of two different types. Yes, birds are of two different types. Nodal as well as adventitious. Now the nodals, uh, if we take example of this, the part between the stem and the leaf means this part is known as axis. Yes, the part between the stem and the leaf is known as axis. And if the bird is present over here, yes, if the bird present here between the leaf and the stem, then this type of bird is known as axillary bird.
Yes, uh, known as axillary bud. And if bud is present over here at the node, if a bud is present at the node over the node, then this type of bud is known as extra axillary bud. Yes, this type of what is known as extra axillary bud and this is uh, example of these two examples of nodal birds if we talk about adventitious so there are many types yes. first one is stem yes. stem colline Third one is root, radical, leaf, and holy. So these are different types of birds, intermediate, immature shoot. And if we talk about the vegetative propagation, it is also of two types. Yes, vegetative propagation is of two types. First one is natural, natural type of propagation and other one is artificial. Artificial one. Now in the natural, there is presence of stem, root, and leaf. There is all these three somatic parts. Stem, root, as well as leaf. Now they can be underground they can be subaerial they also can be types of bulbils and it can also be of aerial shoot and in the artificial there are three types layering grafting Cutting. Now after this, let us start with the natural one and which is the underground type of vegetative propagation.
After this underground stem, when we talk about types, so Basically, the four types of underground stem. So, one of the most popular example of rhizome is ginger. Let us write down the examples of rhizome. Ginger, turmeric. Adiantum Adiantum and Aspidium Now let's say this is the layer of ground and I am citing here the ginger, the diagram of ginger. So, at the ginger, there is, it is adventitious flow. This presence of adventitious rules. And these are nodes. And let's say there is present of bud here. Like this. After vegetative propagation, after the detachment, here and this bird here is protected from, yes, it is protected from coriated leaves, yes. So, after this, there will be formation of Created leaf. Now this uh, is condensed here. and also truncated. Now let us talk about corn. I am citing here some examples. Colossacea. Facia. Propolis.
एम आर ओ फेलक्स Now let's say this is a ground and the cone is in the shape of like a spherical type shape like this over here there is presence of the nodes And here these some advantageous roots are present. Let's say the bird is present here over this node, and there will be a presence of foliated leaf. Like this, so this is also condensed one, and the shape of this cone is spherical. Or so spherical. Now let us talk about tuber. Examples are potato and artichoke. These are the examples. Now let's say. This is a solar type. And the nodes, I'm making some nodes here. Here, these are nodes of tuber. And one information is these nodes are also known as eyes. Here, yes, these are known as eyes, and the tip is swollen. Now, if the bird is present for this, in tuber, if the bird is present in this eye, then what will it is known as? This is the word Yes, what is known as if it this word is present in this eye? It is presented over the node of two words, it is present in the axis. That's why it is known as axillary bird. That's why this was known as axillary. Bulb. Now the bulb 
onion, garlic, lily, and narcissus. These are the examples of bulb. And talk about the example. This type of structure is presented. This is all about underground stem. After this, we will deal about the next type of nodal wood that is subarial type.